welcome to another tech chat we have with us today vinci who is a google developer expert for web technologies vinci how did you get into computers <laughs> nice story so the first time i saw a computer was somewhere around 1980 in my neighbor's house you know the big green sorry the small green monitor over there and somehow instantly fell in love with it and i thought i'm going to spend my life with computers and my next interaction with computers happened way after uh, in school and college when it was part of a school curriculum and we started learning programming languages we learning the c's and the fortrans of the world and uh, so as you we were working on programming and writing a code creating you we asked to create assignments of you know inverting the pyramid and sorting arrays i started hating that and uh, and i couldn't reconcile to the fact that i loved computers but i started hating programming and i didn't know what to do and then coincidentally i discovered something called c graphics so while my teacher was teaching us C programming I was actually creating C graphics and playing around moving them around the screen and I was enjoying that and later there after that uh, I was introduced to action scripts so when flash was introduced with action scripts um, I saw how you could create games with action scripts and that got me really hooked on and the ability to uh, integrate laws of physics with computer programming to build interesting and innovative games This is what got me hooked on to programming, and that's how I started learning programming. So for me, uh, building games was my step to learning to program. Vinci, today we have a bunch of technologies like Polymer is there, Angular is there, React is coming, and we see a lot of these technologies are changing every now and then. So how does one keep up the pace with this? So a very good question. Yes, and a lot of people do come back and keep asking, you know, what should, what is the framework that I should learn? So should I learn React, or should I learn Angular, or should I learn Polymer? And what I keep telling them is, uh, what you need to learn first is obviously JavaScript. Make sure that you're really good with the JavaScript fundamentals. Um, learn your object-oriented programming. Learn your functional programming. Learn, learn and understand how JavaScript works because all these frameworks are essentially sitting on top of it, right? And every framework has its own plus and minus points. So, for example, if you say React, React is very nice when it comes to the presentation layer and when it comes to view manipulations. Angular, on the other hand, is a very, very nice framework when you want to build entire single-page applications. You get a lot of features that comes with Angular. So every framework would have a right fit with regard to what projects you want to work on and what applications you want to build. Uh, so choosing the framework will be an easier choice if you know your fundamentals right. That's one. And what I would also like to say is experiment with everything. You know, you can work with multiple frameworks. You don't have to be married to one single framework. and the next time a new framework comes in it will be much easier for you to move on to the next one many people think front end is not a serious programming what is your take on that yeah if you look at a few years back uh, a lot of application that would be built was built on technologies like java uh, asp.net and things like that now what's happening is of late javascript has taken a um, leaps and bounds in terms of the way things have evolved in the javascript space and we are moving to things like decoupled architecture we're moving to uh, optimizing front end optim using front end for mobile and web so yes front end is very serious business and as a matter of fact back end is actually going to become pretty mundane or even i would go to an extent of saying it's going to be extinct with tools like firebase and cloud based solutions you don't need a back end person everything is just going to be built using front end javascript technologies and also the other important thing with front end is so now as a front end developer you're not building solutions for a single channel you're building it for multiple touch points multiple end points you know you need to build it for the desktop you need to build it for mobile devices you need to build for different forms of mobile devices right from the low end phones to the high end phones and tablets and even kiosks right so how do you do how you build your front end application and keep it performant enough to support all these various devices is a huge challenge and you need really smart people in that space what are your thoughts on pwa so progressive web apps is obviously a very very interesting topic a very hot topic a lot of people are talking about it uh, what i feel is many people are probably getting into a misconception that progressive web apps are a replacement for native apps or they are these new breed of applications that has to be built on a completely different technological stack and what i think is that's wrong you can take any existing responsive site and convert that into a progressive web app you can start the journey of converting it into a progressive web app it's as simple as putting in a manifest file and a simple service worker that starts caching in your requests and you're on your journey to building progressive web apps 
and as you go about adding features to progressive web apps, you can get to a point where you can actually replace the native app. But it's important to start the journey as early as possible and start it with your existing application. You don't have to rebuild it from scratch. This was amazing. Thank you, Vincy, for joining us. And what you guys are waiting for, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll have Vincy answer them. We'll give it a try for sure. <laughs>